Hey everybody, let me give you guys a little update on our CAT 60 project. Um, as you can see we got the engine tore apart, getting into it to get her all sorted out. I'm uh, at the shop here for a few hours tonight, going to measure up all the cylinder bores. So just going to give you a little fun action while we do that. Um, got some tools out here, we'll go through how everything got set up to uh, figure out our our cylinder bore dimensions. So hang tight. I am also so, we're gonna put Victor in watching this guy at the same just time. Because because it's Wednesday, so Rick Bork. All right, hang tight. I'm gonna get my camera repositioned and uh, show you guys what we're doing. Okay, guys. So um, got a line bore gauge, and it's set up for seven inches right now because these Cat 60s got big holes. And then I've got my six to seven inch micrometer set up and I've set it to 6.750 inches because that's the bore of this particular tractor. So I do that so that I can zero out my bore gauge. It's gonna be hard to show on camera, but you stick it in there and get her in there and then you Zero the gauge up top, like so, and then that way I know that this gauge is zeroed to six and three quarters. And then as we put it in the hole, back and forth it, we'll be able to see if we're bigger than we should be or smaller than we should be. So I'm gonna get try and get the camera up there and take some video of this process so just hang tight with me okay let's give this a shot so put the bore gauge down into the hole you guys aren't going to be able to see the gauge very well and all we do is go back and forth and we see what our lowest reading is when we're in the hole. So it looks like about three thousandths of an inch bigger than the 6.750. Oh, maybe, hang on. Yeah, about three thou. So we'll take that measurement, we'll write it down. And I'm gonna go in the middle and closer to the bottom. And then I will turn the gauge this way, do the same thing. That's going to help us check for if we're out of round. And then just repeat, repeat, repeat for, for uh, four cylinders. So I'm going to do this and I will just bring you back with the findings. My camera is not mounted very good here and I don't have all my stuff with me. So I will uh, do this quick and come back to you with the results.
Okay, got my measurements done. Still watching this guy. Let's just see what he's. Let's see who wins. That's not Brian, me. If you're still here, Brian Grinder. Okay, Rick, shut up. Time for me to talk. All right, guys. So if you haven't or you don't know who Rick Bork is, go over and check his channel out. He does a live stream every Wednesday. I was tuning into it while I was doing my 60 bore stuff. So um, what we ended up with here is a uh, bad shadow there. Um, got like number one cylinder number two cylinder three four and uh, we've got the three measurements from top to bottom facing the front and then we've got the same three measurements when I was facing the left so I can get like a, a round idea um, so number one average size was 6.753 inches um, so three thou over the the new spec, I guess if you want to call it that, and then the other side was the same thing. So we got out a round of uh, of zero, which is great. Number two, uh, average of six point five four, so about four thou over, and then over on ninety degrees perpendicular, it was three thou over. So we got out a round difference of about one thousandth of an inch. And then number two, or number three, pardon me, 6.752 average on both both sides, 90 degrees to one another. So again, out around of a uh, of zero. And then we got number four at 6.752 and 6.753. So we got out around of about a thou or a thousandth of an inch on uh, on that one there. So. Um, Pretty good shape overall. I mean, they could use a uh, some new cross hatching, but um, at least we know we got where you know what size we got to deal with now for getting rings and and all that sort of stuff. So, actually, these 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 jugs might not even stay on this tractor, um, but we'll save that for another story for now. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. It was uh, pretty short, pretty far from far from detailed on, on what I was doing there but I just didn't have all my camera mounts and stuff with me so uh, stay tuned for this one she's gonna be a long drawn out process to get this thing back together and running and um, but we're looking forward to it we're happy to happy to have one happy to work on it and we actually got another one now um, so stay tuned for that rescue and uh, yeah as always thanks for uh, checking into my channel and and uh, sorry the video content is a little bit lagging uh, I do a full-time job at the cat dealer so that takes a lot of my time during the week and just don't uh, get much time to shoot video during the week so um, stay tuned if you like what you're seeing here give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you wouldn't mind if you like this kind of content catch you next time everybody thanks